Hopefully you recognise this simple mechanism. Um, it's just a pulley system. There's a motor here, a little electric motor driving this wheel. So this is the known as the driver. The motor is the driver. It's doing all the driving and then this gets driven by it. So we got the uh, driver driven. Okay and uh, using sizes of these we can calculate something known as the velocity ratio which is really useful. So the velocity ratio VR is going to be equal to the driven over the driver. Now you need sizes for these. Now it could be that you uh, have the radius of the driven over the radius of the driver or the diameter of the driven over the diameter of the driver or the circumference of the driven over the circumference of the driver. It makes absolutely no difference at all. Um, all you've got to do is use the same thing on each one. They're always going to be proportional. So uh, it's quite easy for me to measure the uh, diameter. So approximately now 7. So that is the driver, remember. So that's 7 millimetres. The driven, the one that gets driven, is approximately 36. So, simply 36 divided by 7 gives us 5.14. Well, 5 will be good enough for us. So the velocity ratio is approximately 5. Now, just to make that absolutely abundantly clear what that means, let's just make a mark on that pulley and a mark on this pulley. And I'll get a bit closer so hopefully you can see it. It means that this pulley has to go around five times for this to go around once. Now, hopefully you can see that that's at the top there. So this one's going to have to go around five times and hopefully then that will have gone around. It's not going to be exact because it didn't take exact measurements. But let's do it. That's one, two, three, four, pretty close. Okay, so this one goes five times for one revolution of this. So, for example, if you know the input speed, that's the motor speed, you can calculate the output speed. So the output speed is going to be equal to the input speed over the velocity ratio. So, for example, if the motor is running at, say, 1000 RPM, 1000 revolutions, rotations per minute, then that's going to be the input speed of 1000 over the velocity ratio, which was 5. 1000 divided by 5 is 200, 200 RPM. So that means that if this is spinning at a thousand times a minute, this is going to be spinning at 200 times per minute. So it should be quite straightforward. Um, in the exam question, I also asked something about the speed at which the, a, a little vehicle would travel. Maybe I'll post another video uh, to explain about how to do that. But that's, that should not be too difficult because if you know the speed at which this is rotating, and you know the size of this, then you should be able to calculate the, the linear speed, the speed at which it's moving along the ground. Okay, but that's enough for this video.